Hi there. Um, I posted a picture on Facebook uh, the other week in, uh, in one of the groups and somebody saw my uh, daily plane lying on the bench and they asked me what I thought of it. So I thought I'd do a quick review um, and just let people know what I think of this plane. Um, it's a very simple, light bit of kit um, and uh, I, I bought it in the UK for just under £12 sterling and it's fantastic, it works really well. As you can see it's a, a really simple uh, cast metal structure, um, it's probably aluminium uh, with a turn screw here for um, taking the blade in and adjusting it and you've got this plastic keeper that just holds the, the blade in place. This can be a little bit fiddly just to get it right um, and to make sure it's nice and square and what I suggest is you have like a, a piece of scrap balsa and you can just um, test it just to see what it's, it's, it's cutting like while you're setting it up. Um, obviously you can adjust this so it takes thicker cuts or thinner cuts, um, but like I say, it can be a little bit fiddly, um, but you know, it's, it's great once you get it where you want it. You can also put the blade on the front here for a, a, a front cut. I, I don't particularly like that um, and, and haven't used that. Um, and you can also have the blade coming out here so you can, uh, you can do inside angles uh, like this, uh, inside curves, uh, which I've never tried. Um, I just use it as a flat straight plane and, and, and find it brilliant. Um, the blades themselves are double sided. Um, they're very specific to the, uh, the actual plane itself uh, and come in um, packs of 10. Um, but they, they last a good while. Um, you know, I, I hardly ever change them. So, uh, although if I'm doing sort of a, a new project like this where I want to get it just right and just right, then obviously you want to put a good sharp blade in. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, you know, it, it cuts really well. And as you can see, the, the shavings that come off this are just lovely, really nice. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, um, just the, the, the right amount of pressure to apply um, and, um, and I always find rather than trying to cut straight if you put it on an angle um, it always seems to uh, work that little bit better um, yeah I, I, I'm really pleased with it and, and, and highly recommend it I'm just, I'm just cutting some, um, uh, some angles on this 10mm balsa which I'm then going to trim out for some ailerons um, one thing I would say with this plane and any other plane, um, never put it face down, um, or cutting face anyway, down on a table. Even if you've got a cutting mat, you don't know what, you know, there could be grit on there. You know, I've got sanding blocks, so there could be grit from that. Um, and it could just dull the blade. So always put it on its side. And a, a, a little tip which, which I quite like, um, sorry about the noise from the builders, um, another tip I quite like is I've got this plastic box full of wood shavings and I just keep the plane in there so that there's no chance of the, the blade getting dull. Um, and another thing is that it's good to have a brush. Uh, it, it does get clogged up a little bit, uh, particularly I'm finding if you've got hard bits of balsa. So a brush is really good just for cleaning out those um, those cutting areas. You don't want to be putting your finger in there and trying to do that and a, a brush works lovely. Um, so I, I highly recommend this plane. It's great. I really really like it and I dread to think how I would get on doing simple jobs like this um, without it. So yeah, go and get yourself a David plane.